All right, today I'm gonna to transfer my tools over into this Bauer, B-A-U-E-R, from Harbor Freight. 24 inch tool bag, soft. That's what I'm after. <clears throat> now this only cost me $24, it's on sale. All right. The reason why I got that was to put this uh, Harbor Freight Pittsburgh what do you call it? A half inch breaker in there. It wouldn't fit in my other bag. And this Harbor Freight pry bar. Some other things I picked up today were these wire these wire wheel brushes. But I'm really after this cup brush so I can clean my pans with it. If you've never, uh, if, if you've ever tried to clean your pans or something, like uh, cast iron or glassware, you can use this stuff to do it. Works pretty good. And this Franklin folding step stool, I believe it's only eight dollars or seven dollars or something like that. But these are fourteen dollars over at Walmart and Home Depot. These are $14, 14 plus dollars, this is $8. Not going in the tool bag, by the way. I was thinking of maybe using this as like a chair instead. Use this as a short sitting stool. But I also need it to step up to get on top of my roof. Transferring the tools, the all important HDX nitrile gloves from Home Depot. They range anywhere from $9 or $10 to $14. And there goes a the plane overhead. So I like to put these somewhere where I can get to them. Because you know I use gloves all the time. I try to anyways. <clears throat> My Husky tool set with stubby screwdriver, adjustable wrench, and ratcheting screwdriver. I only use the metric. But it does have standard, one side or the other, and it does have bit holders. I got this on sale for $19.20. Remember, when I say this, it's all before taxes. This is my all important catch all box. magnetic tray. I believe I got this on sale from uh, Harbor Freight for $2. Two sixty nine clearance aisle at Walmart. Sockets, mirror magnetic pickup, wrench, ratchet, extensions, and adapters. Combination wrenches, $62, 11 piece ratcheting. Instead of a husky bag, this was five dollars. The wrenches were sixty-two.
oil filter cap specifically for this fan. I think I would just leave this in the van itself. Pittsburgh Pro 3H drive, torque wrench, plug type. This was $25 at Harbor Freight. Uh, Thermo Pro. Fifth, negative 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 1022 Fahrenheit or negative 60 C and 560 degrees Celsius. No contact thermometer. AAA batteries, that's what you're after. Uh, <coughs> crappy six, seven dollar Dremel tool from Harbor Freight. I don't think I would recommend this. Maybe the bits and stuff will work or something. I'm not sure, but this vibrates and the chuck breaks the cutting discs. So, and it's one speed, very uh, one speed. It's not variable. I think I would just save your money for one that actually works. The all important zip ties. You always have to have a screwdriver, double sided, that also has quarter inch drive on it for electrical boxes and panels. And it's always nice to just have a screwdriver that you know you can you can that physically fits your hand comfortably. All right, so I have this uh, this other pry bar and this pry bar. It came in a three piece combination kit with this. It came in a three piece combo with this. This is $7.99 at Harbor Freight. Not the inside track. I got this because you can impact the top of it, right? Why get things that you can't use with a hammer? Philip said, uh, I think this just came with something, so that's why I have it. Poke holes and things. You can heat it up and, you know, uh, use it as a pilot hole for plastic things. All important, you need a tape measure, right? This one doesn't have metric, but it does have increments in here. I used to call these, like, measuring tapes for idiots because to read, you know, these measurements, fractional measurements. Put that on the outside, right there. a 12 inch extension I think I got it with uh, I got it in a kit from like Ross or Target or something does it fit in my one gallon bag yeah kind of sort of uh, and then I have this over here Bit. This is a heart bit from Walmart. It was like five bucks or something. But it comes with all. What I was going after are these star bits here. And these T bits. 
Starbucks T40. Some forceps right here. These forceps you can get over at Walmart in the fishing aisle. I think it's like two dollars. I do like this tape measure. What I like about this is, is that it has standard, but it also has metric on it. Let's see how far out it goes. It's probably like a 25 footer is what I'm guessing. feet? No. Maybe it's only a 16 footer. Yeah. It's only a 16 footer, but I mean, that's still better than uh, anything else out there. I think there's only one other tape measure that has this, and it's Cobalt brand. But it's not all of the Cobalt. It's only just one of the Cobalts. pockets over here are wider. All right, good. good to know. Hammer. Needle nose pliers. Flashlights. Antifreeze tester. Plus 20 to negative 40. Pair of adjustable pliers used for randomly everything. Okay, now I'll put those pliers with pliers. Pliers with pliers. Pliers with uh, pliers with the hammer. the blue type. Blue is not permanent, red is permanent, remember that. Here. Thread locker. So the red 271, high strength. This is for more permanent application and this is for temporary usage.
some battery terminal cleaner and comm cable. You never know when you're gonna need these, but here's a suggestion is like how I have this open, put this in a plastic bag because it's sitting in your tool bag, it might get corrosion over the terminals or, uh, you know, debris. And just a little bit of debris over that will cause a signal to not go through correctly. I've had that on a GUI, graphical user interface. The issue with the whole unit was just the comm cable connectors over here. And to clean that out, I used a piece of cardboard and just ran it across these terminals to clean those out. It worked fine. So, where should I put that? Where should I put that? I'll put that over here with a with the uh, the flashlight and the okay. antifreeze tester because those I kind of don't use all the time anyways. I think this is a spark plug wrench or socket or something for one of the generators. Sitting there idle the whole time. Cascade, something drilling LP, but they're located out of uh, Bothell, Washington. Bothell, Washington. Cascade drilling LP. They have nice equipment. Apparently, it looks like, but damn, are they annoying. And let's see this. I don't know where to put this. It's probably going to poke holes and shit. Uh, I'm going to have to get a hard, hard container, I think. I'll just put it in here for now. So if you do get drill bits, make sure that you put them in something like this so it doesn't poke holes and things. Alright, I went from a 15 inch Voyager bag to this Bauer 24 inch bag. Bigger isn't always better. Just because I can fit all my stuff in here, now everything's heavier. Or I shouldn't say it's heavier, I mean it is heavier because of those two extra things. All right, so if you were curious if all my tools fit inside of here, with it zipped up. The answer is yes. And I never recommend getting a bag bigger than uh, what you can carry or anything greater than like 26 pounds. One, because of airports. Two, your body has to carry it. And if you need to, get two bags and split it up so at least you can uh, separate it. But this bag was $24, so I decided to get it. 